Yeah. I know, uh, you know, a couple of times when I go to the cinema to have meet and greet for movies that I release, you know, people come and I talk to them, I'm like, oh, watch this film. They say no. They buy a Hollywood film and then they come and they want to take a picture. Uh, you don't see Tom Cruise. Are you with me? No. I say, hold up. I, let me give him a call. Uh, oh. He's going to come. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to arrive right okay. now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm asking because you know a lot of people they just jump into the industry. You see somebody that you see, you know from your area. Yeah. The next day you see the person on the screen. Yeah. But that's not that's not the case with you. And you also said it that you have it's, it's it's important for actors to have a background in stage. Yes. Before they come into white stars. Okay, maybe not necessarily before. So, okay. um, for example, I don't have any formal training for theater. I didn't okay. study theater art. It was after I started acting already that I went to New York Film Academy for acting, Relativity School for directing, and Hollywood Film Institute for producing. But that was in the course of the job. Okay. However, I think that, you know, when I started doing State 2014, it was um, Bimba Kintala who recommended me to Ifo um, Mafafuma for Hair Word. Okay. And I realized that there is there is a there is a symbiotic relationship with acting for stage and acting for screen. One makes you stronger for the other. Okay. It's it's very difficult to to explain. So you need to understand the differences when you're recording for for screen. You don't need to project necessarily because there are boom mics, direction, directional mics, lav mics all around you. With theater, for example, you you may have a mic you know somewhere far but you will need to throw your voice into that mic <laughs> you know so what it does is that it helps your vocal range as an actor you need to know when to put it up there when to bring it down and then um another thing that stage does for you is it helps i, I believe that it works your brain because there's no there's no take one take two let's do it again let's go in for a medium let's go in for a see you it's once it's one of and much more than anything, with stage, you're dealing with immediate reactions. Okay. It's one thing for you to come and say, oh, I saw you in Edge of Paradise, it was nice. Okay, it's your word, you know. But when I'm on stage and you're there, you're either going, mm, or oh my God, immediately. Okay. And as an actor, you need to deal with those emotions immediately. Because you can't get carried away with the fact that people are cheering you on. You've got to go on because the show must go on, you know. So one actually helps for the other. Screen in many ways has helped me for, for, for stage and stage has helped for screen. So I think that, you know, if, if every actor has that opportunity to, to have a, a, a taste on stage, I, th I think they should, should grab it. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you go, Nigerian music, if you don't skip and the rest of the guys, they are doing a good job. You know? Flag. But we've none of us also, us also had. We've always been, none of us been winning, in my opinion, for a while. But in recent times, these things is like we're getting to a crescendo where everything is going. That's what I'm asking if, if we're winning, if we've us. arrived. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the perspective I like to put it in. Um, we're not where we used to be. Oh, okay. But we're not yet where we want to be. Okay. Right. So obviously, there's been progress. I don't know if I can say that we are there. Yeah. Um, of course, there's, there's, there's so many hurdles to cross, there's so many things to, to achieve before you can actually say you're there, you have arrived. Um, one is probably, just like you said, the comparison between music and movies being celebrated on um, international platforms. Okay. You know, someone like um, uh, Omotala Jalade and Femi Odubemi being inducted into the um, Academy. It was like, for me, it was, for me, it was noise for Nollywood. Like, it was a win <laughs> was a for Nollywood. Job. However, we, we do know that there's a lot of work to be done. Now, in doing all of that work, we know that there is, we cannot arrive, we cannot be there without the people. The filmmaking is not like music. You can actually release a full album alone. You can lay your vocals, you can go back, harmonize your vocals in three different harmonies. You can use your equipment to modulate. You don't even need the voice. You don't need to have a voice. You can modulate. You can mix if you're good with your equipment. You can mix, you can master them, you can release it. You cannot do that as a filmmaker. It's really a team game, yes. There's, there's no way you can do it without a team. And the, the, the tricky part of what we do is that the populace is part of our team. So no matter how good a movie we make, if people are not watching it, if people don't trust us enough to say, I'm going to see this movie, then what's the point? A lot of people have taken loans from um, BOI, they've made very, very good films, but people still come with that thought and that mentality of, 
I beg Nana Jan film. film. Oh, okay. Let's watch, mm, okay. let's watch uh, this and this Hollywood film. Okay. So the truth is, gradually we need to ensure that, you know, one person at a time, we're carrying everybody yeah. along. That's the only time we can fully arrive. In patient times, you see a lot of things happen. You understand? And um, talking about the way guys and ladies react, a lot of things have been happening. Yeah. We're talking about a story yeah. just before we started the interview. We're talking about guys who forcefully you shared a story yes. um, earlier about an experience you had talking to youths yeah. about what do you think is going on? What do you think? Do you think it's a moral thing or do you think it's lack of indiscipline on? Because it happens to both genders. It just happens that it's been dominant yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, think, do you think it's, what do you think is going on? First of all, I think that the issue of, you know, any form of sexual harassment has to do with power. You know, okay. wherever power lies so um, whether it's physically forcefully or if it is subtle in the sense that there are threats you know you lose your job or this or this there's got to be it's a power play okay. that's what I think and much more than anything I think that the onus and the, the work lies on, on, on mothers maybe okay. mothers um, how do we bring up our sons I've seen the way you know people talk about oh bringing up a girl oh sit right cross this go and wash please go and wash how about your sons? How much time do you dedicate to raising your sons? Is it okay for your son to be in the living room watching football while everybody else in the house is working because he then feels entitled as his son? How do you bring them up? Um, we need to get to the point where we're raising our sons to understand emotions, understand how other people feel. When they say, love your neighbor as yourself, is how would you feel if same was done to you? Do you understand? We need to teach our sons this concept. And because in many ways they, 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 are, they are powerful, they're strong, I believe that if, if, if guys understand that and they are at the forefront of it, they're not born the woman we want to try. That's the truth. You know? So I think we need to, as in many ways, and I feel bad every time I say this, I've kind of lost hope with my generation. I, I, I just feel like we're already formed you know not much can be done so you know we need to, to yes we need, for now we just have to keep doing no punishment and repercussions for your actions but okay so we should raise your kids and women in, yeah. in the right way oh, yeah. i have another question okay this, is, this stems from feminism is i don't know how you define it and what you define it to be but i believe in equity i believe in justice it's not enough to just talk about peace there's got to be equity and there's got to be justice and if what I'm fighting for, I keep saying every time, I'm not about to usurp the position of a man. I, what a man will do, a man will do. What a woman will do, a woman will do. I'm not about, you know, um, fighting for, for what nature has created. But the truth is, let me take a tool from what Chimamanda said. We do not, culture doesn't make us. We make culture. We decide what culture is. So she gave an instance and said, Imagine if I, I worked in an office and, and a man came and spoke to me anyhow and you know, talked to me condescendingly and he made it clear to me that he was doing that because I was a woman. And then down the line I find out that this man is a twin. I would probably laugh because a hundred years ago he would have been dead. He won't even live to be this age. So that's what culture does. You decide what is good, what should go, what should stay. If you see a human being being oppressed, we shouldn't let him be because we think it is culture. It has nothing to do with whether you give yourself the title of feminism or manism or chauvinism, whatever it is you want to call yourself. It's treating another human being with equity, fairness, justice. It is a gentleman you have uh, before my life. Thank you very much, guys, for joining <laughs> us on the show. But before we go from, I told people how they can keep up with you. Show me that. You have to follow me. Oh. You know, my name is very long, but uh, I spell it for you. U F U O M A M C D E R M O T T. Ufuma McDermott on all social media handles, and I'd love to chat with you guys. Yes, uh, my name is Abisola, and I'll use Abisola the Great on all social media handles. If you go talk any, I know follow you chat. I can talk much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you very much. You can follow Night.com on all social media handles. We are Night.com on Facebook. We are Night.com News on Instagram. And on Twitter, we are Night.com. Just Night.com. 